no matter which God you worship, each and every one of us has a responsibility. Each and every one of us can God freedom. Together we will associate an unbreakable chain of care, democracy and security. It is our shield against violence. Okay. This inclusive approach will and it has strengthened the Norwegian nation. And we salute this from the bottom of our hearts. These words are clear signs of how constructive and fruitful dialogue is made and hence the importance of critical dialogue comes forth again and again. The American academician who visited Denmark one and a half years ago, Jill Carroll, said in her book, A Dialogue of Civilization, that, I quote, Dialogue is the means by which we maintain our focus on the humanity of others, even when, or perhaps especially when, we strongly disagree with their ideas. Finding commonalities in a situation where people disagree in a way out of allegations and attacks made toward each other's cultures. I believe that it is possible for different cultures to cause it, but we have to re-elaborate over some words we use in the debate. I am thinking about multiculturalism, which is a difficult <coughs> word, but very important. What are we going to talk about when we address issues of integration, assimilation, or what I would like to call inclusion, just like other politicians luckily are using nowadays? We have seen politicians talk about the death of multiculturalism, which has been misunderstood because the death of multiculturalism as an ideology was an apparent issue because in this way the host culture, which is the Danish culture for instance, was going to fade away. And this should not be what we expect when we think about diversity in a society. The critique of multiculturalism was a critique of multiculturalism as an ideology. And my critique goes the same way. Which terminates mutual cultures and values. It is very important to have mutual values such as freedom of speech, religious freedom, and other democratic rights. The kind of multicultural, and I'm not talking about multicultural anymore, I am addressing is the kind of multicultural which respects diversity in a society and enables to include different cultures, but at the same time serves fundamental values which society in general has agreed on. These values are, the agreed values must reflect the Danish and international, or must reflect Danish and international respective values. If we are capable of clarifying that the majority of Muslims are interested in preserving the Danish values and not changing them, and that the majority of Danes are not interested in assimilating Muslims, the inevitable will happen. Slowly but firmly, the mutual concerns, doubts, and fears will fade away. Therefore, inclusion and interculturalism are important concepts that could be used in the debate. I will now end in a little bit of sentimental way. Hope it's okay with you all. What do, what do you want me to say to my daughter and son, who are born and raised in Denmark? Just like me, when they say, I quote, Father, our mom is from Turkey, but we are from Denmark, are we not? I say, yes, you are. Kids, they are innocent, and they are not affected by their religion, or by how their religion, cultural beliefs are questioned and critiqued. But do we really want to leave them a society where their love to their country is going to be destroyed because of ideological anchored perceptions? I do not want any limits to freedom of speech, but I would really like to see that grown-up people are acting more responsibly. I will end my speech with the following two quotes from two distinguished intellectuals, thinkers, philosophers, and worldwide approved spiritual leaders. Two quotes. Two quotes. The one is still living, the other is dead. First quote is from uh, a person which I am, I am very much inspired of, and my organization died of one too. I quote from Katsula Bilan. Be so tolerant that your bosom becomes as wide as the ocean. Become inspired with faith and love of human beings. Let there be no troubled souls to, human, to, whom, to whom you do not offer a hand and about whom you remain unconcerned. Hold them. The next 
خودشون به لانا جلالتی رومی The very important Muslim and spiritual leader Sufi master, I quote, he said, Come, come get closer. Kill what is the, the, the bandit we're going to continue. Since you are, I and I am you are, what is this us and them? So why are we struggling with each other? Why is one life running away from the other? We are all humans. A God is like a body and the being of a mature person. I hope that this was not a too long quote, but I will switch on to English again. If you took me that, dear my husband, thank you very much for letting me speak. May that the story be as the German Aini of the fundamental thing. They are a very unrespected man, stating that the Samson respected in all the old children.